A few weeks ago, I played Iron Lung for the first time, and I really enjoyed it. It did an amazing job at giving me that claustrophobic, panic-inducing feeling that not many other games can achieve. Naturally, it exploded in popularity with all of the big YouTubers playing it. This made sense to me as the game was truly unique and there hadn't really been anything similar. At least, that's what I thought. Until I found this. Corpse Ocean is a game where you pilot a tiny submersible on a job to retrieve organic material from a sunken navy sub, follow the coordinates, use sonar, and hope you don't run into anything on the way this is literally just iron lung. Surely this is just some cheap knockoff, right? Well here's where things get interesting. This game was released December 19th of 2021. Iron Lung came out March 10th, 2022. This game was out before Iron Lung for four months. Now, I'm not at all saying that David Szymanski copied this game or stole its idea. I just think it's weird that two games that are so similar have completely different levels of visibility. Iron Lung is Iron Lung, and Corpse Ocean you probably didn't even hear about before you clicked on this video. I think that's wrong, because in my opinion, Corpse Ocean is a better game. I know that might be a hot take given how popular Iron Lung is, but let me explain. I'm sure you know by now that in Iron Lung, you travel exclusively on the bottom of the Blood Ocean. The ship can only navigate in two dimensions. In Corpse Ocean, however, you are free to surface and dive as you wish. Captain, we're lowering the ship. Oh, we hit the bottom. This adds one key element, depth. In both games, the fear of the ocean is what makes it interesting, what causes that dread and anxiety. Iron Lung does this successfully by restricting both the player's movement and vision. You can only imagine what's out there. But in Corpse Ocean, you can see everything. The scale of the ever-expanding ocean is right in your face. And as the game progresses, you are forced to go deeper and deeper down into the ocean, even going past the pressure capabilities of the ship. And we're gonna go, wow, that's deep. Warning, maximum allowed depth, 100. But it's asking us to go to 178. Combine this with the extremely confined maze section and oh boy, I was sweating. The way that Corpse Ocean uses depth to convey the scale of the ocean, in my opinion, is a lot better and a lot more enjoyable than just going to the next area on a two-dimensional plane and expecting something to be different. I'm just gonna start and say that I think Iron Lung is overall a more scary and unsettling game. It can't be rivaled in the way that it builds tension as things start to break around the ship and it literally fills with blood. That's pressure. However, I think Corpse Ocean is not far behind and what it lacks in tension, it makes up for in creative scares. Maybe we'll go a little bit west too. <gasps> yo, 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 what is that? What is that? Why? He's on the ship. He's on the ship. E6. <sighs> Why? These are the type of scares that I love from horror games. They aren't jump scares so much as they just kind of mess with you. Like the monsters toying with you before your inevitable death. I think that Corpse Ocean scares are a lot more enjoyable, creative, and memorable. Which brings me to my last point. Ultimately, a video game should be fun, and I'm going to be completely honest here and say that Iron Lung really isn't that fun to play in my opinion. Unless you're specifically looking for secrets within the game, there's no reason to replay it. I can't say I'd be excited for an Iron Lung 2 if the core gameplay was relatively similar, but I loved playing Corpse Ocean. It was a blast. I felt like I was on a little expedition, and while the story really wasn't super fleshed out, it was a really polished experience, and I enjoyed every part of it. Now, if there were to ever be an Iron Lung 2 or a Corpse Ocean 2, I would want it to blend the best of both games. I would want the fear, tension, and pressure from Iron Lung, but also the fun, creative scares from Corpse Ocean all in one package. I think that would be awesome. And my hope is that this video only increases popularity of Corpse Ocean and Iron Lung. Both of these games are really good and really similar. It's kind of weird, but I really encourage you to check out Corpse Ocean. Give it a play. It's a free game and the dude made it in 10 days. Come on. But seriously though, I'm no expert on either one of these games. I just thought this would be a fun video to make and compare and kind of promote Corpse Ocean a bit because I really feel like it was underrated and underplayed. 
This video is kind of a 200 subscriber special, and I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel. I only started like a month and a half ago, so 200 subscribers to me, that's a huge accomplishment, and I'm so excited to see how far we can take this channel. My name is Bucci, and if you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to check out some of my other content. I play a lot of other horror games that also didn't get as much attention as I think they deserve. And let me know what you thought. Do you think Corpse Ocean is underrated, or do you think this video is kind of like, eh, dude, Iron Lung is better, shut up. All right, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later, and you have a great day.